Last time we built this piano and now I've got some help from YDYT on how to reduce the delay. Right now the delay is uh, 6 ticks. It's pretty bad. It's because we have 6 observers. But if we remove this layer, observers, and replace them with hoppers, then we go down in the machine room. Oops, we put the block there, then remove these two observers, another block there, and then dust. And that's it. So if we do this on every note block section, the keyboard will feel so much smoother. Oh yes. So much better. Thank you, YD. By the way, I just saw her latest episode. She is selling custom doors in her shop. That could be very interesting. But today we are going to automate our emerald income. So let's head over to the desert village. So according to my research, one of the best ways to get a steady stream of emeralds into your village is a melon and pumpkin farm. And we will build an automated one. This one is a bit old, but when I browsed through the comments it looked like it still works. It's made by Il Mango, and I'll put the link to the tutorial in the description of course. So let's start with a line of hoppers. And then hoppers leading into that line, I think is the best way to go about this. It's a 9x9 nine nine farm, and I thought we could have 6 farmers. This house was here originally, so 3 farmers in here, and then we can mirror that house on the other side. So Ilmango built this in creative mode, of course. And I think the hardest part is to place the pistons. So I thought we'll do that first. Let's see, there will be dirt here. Air block, so piston, like that, yes. Because you need to place the pistons from below, and there will be a grass layer here later, it won't be much room to maneuver. Okay, I think I got them all. So let's remove the dirt here and instead place it on the hoppers. So if we start in the middle, one, two, three, four. Oops, this should be the middle. And we have to be careful so we don't paint ourselves into a corner. <laughs> Water here, it's just to have the tilled soil hydrated. Apparently that makes some sort of difference. Maybe we should start planting as well. We need to alternate between pumpkins and uh, melons. Oh, why are you not sleeping my server buddies? Oh yeah, let's have a shroom light. Can we place it? No! Destroy the water. Let's try that again. Water, shroom light, nice. And last pumpkin row. Isn't that just typical? We'll head over to our manual farm. Let's snag one of these and voila. Okay, observer time. If we aim at the stem, yes. Next step is to put a block on all the observers, and then uh, note blocks on all the pistons. Okay, next step is to make all the farmers wheat farmers, so we can unlock the pumpkin and melon trades, because 
a wheat farm is all I have. I haven't grown any beetroot or carrots. So we'll do one of these manual wheat harvests. Hopefully one of the lasts. And maybe harvest these while we're at it. The next step is mm. to break the composters until the farmers mm. get the trades we want. He has the wheat trade, that's good. Oh, it's gossip time. Oh well, we'll do it tomorrow. While we wait, we can bone meal the stems to speed up the process here. Nice, all stems are fully grown. And the fruit is actually starting to roll in here. Fruit? Are they fruit? So let's tune the note blocks now that they are extremely active. So I'll tune them kind of the same way as the piano. Okay, let's convert these farmers into wheat farmers. There we go. That's the spirit. So now we have three, I think. We need you to buy wheat as well. Oh, well done. Okay, six farmers. Is it enough if they go up to the next level to get the pumpkin and melon? No, apples, maybe I can buy apples. Yeah, that, that gets him a, a bit. Here is something interesting. I'm collecting these uh, stems for the farm design and I'm doing what you do in tree farms if you don't want the trees to grow too tall but look at this it grows right through the glass <laughs> but at least this platform kind of helps with the harvesting and the glass is still there it just grows past it I have been debating with myself over if this pillar should stay but I don't like it. All the farmers have unlocked melon or pumpkin trades. Some of them have both. And this is what the farm looks like so far. Pretty futuristic <laughs> somehow. I um, will try to implement some cyan blocks and uh, terracotta like we are experimenting with down there. But I think maybe the first step is to mirror this house now on the other side and then somehow merge the designs okay it's pretty much the same kind of interesting to build these pre-generated minecraft structures i didn't have any jungle buttons so i used birch instead i'm trying to implement these blocks i'm not sure probably when we add more detail it will make more sense just something like that looks a little better but let's get filthy rich oh yes Okay, eight pumpkins left and 66 emeralds. So nice. Let's buy some bricks for the shop. Fire protection for my boots, maybe. All right. And should we buy a pair of pants? I think we should. Okay, we're going to head over to the shopping district now. I just want to show you the roads here. I've started to connect the different areas and it makes such a big difference. It's really starting to feel like a village now. The melon and pumpkin farm is working but it is a bit slow still. So I'm sketching on a um, sugarcane farm here as well. But let's grab some materials and uh, head into the shopping district to refill our own store and Jimbo has kind of a pop-up store where he doesn't sell anything. He buys quartz blocks. And I have unlocked two of my stonemasons to sell quartz. Oh jeez. Is that brown a bit? 
Man, that's huge! I think that is his museum. Wow, man. Here is Jimbo's pop-up shop. Take two diamonds for one stack of quartz blocks. I brought two blocks, which means four diamonds for decoy. Ah, I forgot my own diamonds. Hope I have sold something here. Ah, beautiful. I saw something new here as well. What was this? Ender Ender Season Pass. Oh, it's uh, Carl's. We'll see if we need to use this. We get so much XP from just trading. I want to try out the elevator up to YD's door shop. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous, actually. Ooh. Nice. Oh, what a view. Lovely. All right. Welcome to YD Old Shop. Doors galore. That's cool. Okay, and here you can make your custom order. We might do that eventually. Let's see. Let's see the closing mechanism. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Button down. Where was the elevator? Was it here? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's right. I think Obni is selling jungle stuff. Yeah. Maybe we'll buy some scaffolding, actually. Some jungle wood for the buttons. Okay, I just want to show you this sugarcane farm before I tear it down. <laughs> it looks okay, right? We have the water stream here. The pistons push them down into the stream, into this little hopper line and to this chest. But it's so bad. Half the sugarcane gets stuck on the way. So we need to do something. Maybe with the minecarts going under the reeds instead. Yeah, this is a lot better. It's pretty much lossless now, or will be, once I cover everything up. The minecart just goes over the hoppers here and into the chest, so very simple. But it works just fine. Now, up here in the pumpkin and melon section, I've continued the road all the way around here. I really like this combination. Warped Nihilium and the Warped Wart Blocks, like we started to experiment with in the previous episode. And these houses I'm trying to gently change up to be more nethery futuristic. <laughs> these patches of uh, the warp stems kind of goes back to this design, just to kind of connect the style together. Oh, and apparently these columns create a bit of lag. So I'm trying to go around and uh, do what I can to <laughs> reduce the numbers. I still have all these beds. It's because I'm not finished with all the librarians yet. Oh, free iron. But once I have every villager I want, I will break the beds uh, and then the iron golem spawning will be much reduced. I'm really enjoying playing on the Ripple Effect server right now. It's so much fun. I hope you enjoyed the episode, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.